God gave me. Oh, I fell into a trance. I preached this outside. I fell into a trance and I saw the, 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 the tallest green tree I have ever seen in my life. I saw this tall green tree and I look at the very top of this tree. The tree is green, being hit by a violent wind. This violent wind is turning this tree back and forth, back and forth. And I saw an image, I saw a head on the top of the tree. That head, the head I saw, I saw it clearly. It was the face of Joe Biden. And God said to me, so I preached this outside. God said to me on that Monday, and I, I never understood what it was. As I was heading to my barber, I began to meditate on what I have seen. I began to think about what I have seen. The sight was so uh, was so devastating to me. The sight was very, very scary to me. And I began to meditate on what I saw in my trance. I don't know how long I lasted in that trance. I don't know how long it took me, but I saw this image. Joe Biden's head was at the very top of the tree. And God said to me that this is the tallest nation representing the every economic sphere and every every military and in power in 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 wealth and in everything but the head the head with joe biden is a representative of the administration and i should go out there and let the world know that he is he god is not happy with the wicked ways of the current administration what is the current administration joe biden and kamala harris and god gave me specific names I, and i was out there and i spoke it just as i had in my heart nancy pelosi oh was name was mentioned to me and uh, chuck schumer's name was given to me our governor our governor here in michigan uh, I believe her name is was given to me and God says their ways are wicked I should let them know that they are promoting abomination they are promoting what he called abomination he mentioned he was very specific that they are promoting they are champions of what he called abomination and that everyone can live his life anyhow he or she wants to live it but he doesn't want the leaders to be promoting abomination what he called abomination he doesn't want the leaders of our day the leaders of our generation uh, to be championing that and therefore the the communion service the eucharist they have been receiving the confession they have been going to they have they have been doing that without him they have been doing that without their heart because he does not know them and i went out there i was trembling as i went out there to make this known today i'm recording this for for it to be to be heard by all the state by all the cities by all leaders god says the tree, the tallest tree that I saw, how the tree was beat by a, a violent wind. The tree, did I see that the root of the tree never moved? Because he says to me that the saints, the prayers of the saints were on their knees. The prayers of the saints are the reason why the root of the tree, I saw this tallest tree that I have ever seen, that it burned back and forth, being hit by a very strong uh, violent wind but what happened is the tree did not break and from the top to almost uh, somewhere to the what I can call to the waist never touched from, from the waist down never touched he said because of the, the prayers of the saints and that is what has hold this nation and I should make that announcement and I should let the president know the White House know that he is not happy with his administration because they are championing and promoting what he call abomination they are championing and 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 and, and promoting what he call abomination and he says he's going to unleash his wrath not upon the nation but upon the household of these leaders that if they did not repent that is exactly what God told me on Monday I went out there in the street and I made this announcement as a 
class I was, it was the first time I've ever done anything like that. And I go, it's the first time I ever said, this is what God says. I always go by the word of God, but that sight was so scary. Today, I'm putting it on record for everyone to know what God is about. The Bible says, when the righteous rules, oh, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rules, the people groan. Oh, God is not happy with this administration and government aggression. And he, he also, God was very specific in the word. He says, Governor Gretchen and other governors are walking in wickedness to maintain power. And I was trembling when I went out there to make this public. I was trembling to when I was going out there to announce this on the public on what the, the the speaker that I use is very loud. When I go out there to make this, I was trembling, but I would rather obey God than to obey men. I have put this on record today. God is not happy oh, with the current administration. God says that the, the, the ways of the current administration is wicked and evil and that they should repent. And if they do not repent, he is going to unleash his wrath upon these, the homes of this individual. So therefore, I call, I, when I post this video, I want it to go viral. I want it to folks let the White House know. And I have never done, said anything like this in my life. I always pray. I know there is wickedness in the world. I know there is wicked ways of men. I know men's thought and, 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 and heart are evil. But I have never done that seals the Lord. This is my first time of doing it. I have never done that seals the Lord. So Joe Biden, when you are, if you are listening, when you are listening, God says that your ways are evil. God says that the ways you are championing what he call abomination. You are championing what he call abomination. You are promoting what he call abomination and that he's not happy with your abomination administration, you and Kamala Harris, including uh, 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 Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, those were the names, specific names God gave to me. He said, you confess, you go to confession, you take the Eucharist, but he says, your heart is wicked. You are far away from him. He said, I should let you, uh, Nancy Pelosi and you, uh, Joe Biden know that the Eucharist you have been taking, he's not part of it because your heart is wicked and far away from him. And he need you repent because he says his grace is so at large. His grace is so at your disposal. You have to come just like the prodigal son who came to his senses. You have to come oh, just like oh, the, the, the older son who never left home but his heart was full of rage, wickedness and envy. And envy. Oh, you have to come just like like them for a repentance for renewal of your spirit oh so god can restore you that is the message for the world today oh again today as i was coming here to pray oh just god just put it on my heart again when i was going to bed last night he spoke to me that today i must record what i had announced publicly. Oh yes, what I had announced publicly, I must put it on record. So Joe Biden and your administration, God says that he is not happy with your administration because your ways are evil. You are promoting what God calls abomination. You are championing what God called abomination. Those were the specific words put in my mouth. I Those were the words put in my mouth. Oh, champion champion and promotion were the exact words put in my mouth. I did not write it down anywhere, but I believe that now that I have it on record, Joe Biden, wherever you are, oh, Governor Gretchen, wherever you are, God says your ways are not pleasing unto him. You want to please men. God says no. God today, God says no. Speaking through this vessel today to make this announcement to the world, God of glory, I pray for your mercy. I pray for 
your grace over our leaders today in the name of Jesus. May your word come as it is, O Lord. May you touch Joe Biden's heart. And if you are a saint out there, God, you have to be, you have to be very happy, especially those of you who have been praying. God said the tree, did I see that the tree never moved the, the entire tree just from the top to what I call to the waist was the only thing that has been hit by this violent wind, but the rest stood still. Nothing touched. It says this was because of the prayers of the saints. I want to leave that with you today because God is still in charge. In the name of Jesus, that seals the Lord. And may it be so according to his word in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.